Hi everybody, it's Hatsy and I'm back with a create a sim and speed edit in The Sims 4. It has been a while. It's been five days and I feel terrible. <laughs> I think it's because I've been focusing so hard on getting other stuff like off the ground. Like I've been really focusing on Twitch at the moment and I've been spending a lot of time live streaming over there. I think pretty much every single night last night I was just there for like hours, just like pouring my heart out on stream. <laughs> and going into very specific detail with stories and also making up some like crazy weird random let's plays over there very messed up i really did show my true colors <laughs> but yeah like that's what i've been doing and also i've been focused on my fitness channel so that's why things on the gaming channel have been a little bit silent so i'm sorry about that but be expecting a flood of videos this week because i'm going to be working really hard um, and also on my second channel too, because I'm going to be posting like more me on there, more like what I'm actually up to in the day, more sort of what I'm doing at the gym, like what I'm doing at home, that kind of thing, like more me. But then this is going to be gaming. Hi, welcome to the speed edit. But yeah, all the links will be in the description below if you want to go and check out any of the stuff because I'm live on Twitch pretty much every single night and I'm also doing some daily vlogs, stuff like that on fitness channel, Hatsy Fit. It's my second channel, I changed the name. It was originally Chatsy, but I decided to change it this week. See, anyway, this speed edit is of a sim called Alicia Harrington. So the idea was I wanted to create like a really pretty girl with a Persian, like that was a, I don't know. It's a pet that look like the owners, but I didn't call it that, I don't think. I think I called it Pretty Sim and Persian Creator Sim, because I feel like Pets are like their owners get so repetitive and I feel like after time people are going to get a little bit bored with Oh, it's another pet that looks like their owners <laughs> And I think that's what starts to happen. So I'm going to mix up. So this is a pretty sim and Persian create a sim And I'm excited to share this with you and I think it came out really well I think that she did actually look like the Persian. I think the hair match is really nice And I think that this is one of my favorite speed edits I've ever done because when it came into Photoshop at the end and changing things, the Persian's fur came out really nicely. I didn't stream this one, but I've been streaming one similar to this. The latest one that I've streamed in terms of speed edit so that you could see exactly what I'm doing and you can like chat to me whilst I'm actually making it is Charizard. So remember when I did the Pokemon creator Well, I did a Charizard, which I haven't shared yet. I had a bit of a nightmare actually tonight. So I was live streaming and I have actually just finished, I think a half, no, hang on, two and a half or three hour live stream or something like that. My computer crashed midway. I was devastated. <laughs> so midway through playing with the ex dinner lady that hit me. Uh, yeah, really weird story, but I think only the stream people know, unfortunately. Um, so we're making her in the creator sims and we were doing a funny speed edit and we were putting it in her like dinner hair hair lady nets because you know how dinner ladies wear these nets and also if you don't know what a dinner lady is it's basically someone at school who looks after the lunchroom and that's what i used to have at school but yeah she hit me long story short because i didn't put my hands together for prayer when i was really young but we created her in the sims and we were doing a speed edit and it was so good and it was going so well and everything was just just going perfectly and then my whole computer just crashes and burns and then that's it r.i.p <laughs> So I think I had to wait for about 30 minutes for it to relaunch and that's when it relaunched. Exciting. But yeah, apart from that, it's been a fun, it's been a fun day. I had some drama, but I actually filmed the drama. I spoke about it live, but I mean, I can repeat it now so you can kind of get an idea of what happened. Um, I had a parking disaster today. So it was actually nice to have a situation where I've actually got live footage of it happening and I like the fact that you got my reaction when the time was there rather than like hours after now. Um, but long story short, I went to the gym and I'm, I'm sorry if you've heard this three million times already, but it's a classic. Oh, it's a classic Hattie story. So there I was. I exit the gym and you get free parking if, if you go to this particular gym so i had this parking ticket and i lost it and i was really worried about it but i only found it when i got back to my car and it's quite a while away from the gym you know it's about a 10 minute walk something like that 
So I asked the lady for advice and I just said, hey, what would you do in my situation? Like, I've just found my ticket, it's not punch, but I did go to the gym and I can get it free. And she said, well, they'll be really understanding downstairs. Just go, go downstairs, drive down, and they'll let you out the gate. They'll be fine with it. They've done it before, they'll be okay. So I drove all the way down to the first floor and I went to the barriers and I pressed the information thing. Now bear in mind, there are like cars building up behind me and stuff like this at this point. So I push it and the man answers and he's like, he said something snotty. It was like, um, what do you want? Something like that. And I explained, but I was kind of put on the spot after the what do you want. So I was just like, hi, you know, explain the story to him. And he came out and he said to me, well, you have two choices. You either park your car and go and pay or you go back to the gym and stamp your card. And it's just like, but look, there are queues of people forming behind me trying to get out. I'm blocking the thing. I'm going to have to reverse. They're going to have to reverse and it's just going to be a nightmare. I'm in my gym gear. I can give you my gym code to prove that I'm a member. But like, why can't you just lift up the barrier? I didn't say that to him, but you know, I was kind of being friendly at this point, you know, saying like, would there be any chance you can lift up the barrier? Cause I am a member and you know, I have to go all the way back. He said no. He was such a horrible guy. So I ended up having to park my car at the barrier. And then he shouted at me. Well, he didn't, he didn't like shout, but he was really snotty about it. It was like, you should leave your car with, with your hazard perceptions on. And it's just like, no, I'm not going to leave my car unattended with my car keys in with my hazard lights on. That is the most ridiculous idea ever. Sorry, why don't I just give my car keys to a random stranger? You know, that's like leaving my house unlocked or something. You just don't do that, do you? <laughs> um, especially if I'm going to be gone for like 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long it is to get me from you know, like back into from the gym. It's a hole punch, let me add. This is all I need for this ticket, a hole punch. A hole punch, you can see me punch the ticket on my vlog, which will be linked below. <laughs> um, but I was shocked because I was absolutely shocked. So anyway, long story short, I end up going back to the gym, punching my ticket and then going and there's a lot of commotion. I get back, there's a cone in front of my car. Like how petty is that? So that's it. That was my drama. That's the first day I've ever daily vlogged and that happened. Like, that's just mad to think. I'm just hoping it's going to get better. I'm just, I've got big hopes and plans and dreams for this new channel. Because um, I started it ages ago when it was, ha no, hang on, Chatsy. But I didn't do anything with it because of bad internet. But now I've got good internet and I can just do everything. I've got all these ideas that are all coming through at once. But that's it. So going back to the speed edit, I'm really sorry if you've heard that story so many times today. Like, I do profusely apologise. Um, <laughs> I am the worst. But can we appreciate these two? Like, what a pairing. Aren't they just so cute? She's so pretty. And the cat is just so cute. I just want to grab it and just have it as a pet. I just want a Persian now. I really do want a Persian. I um I saw this really sad board. This was in the shopping centre today. And it was about black cats. And I really want to adopt a cat. Any cat. I don't care which cat. I just want to adopt a cat. Do you know, when I get old, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not even joking. This isn't a joke. This isn't a when I'm a millionaire or when I'm doing this, when I'm doing that. I'm going to buy a boat and this and that. Like, no. No, no, this is not joking. This is me being deadly serious, having a deep chat at what time is it right now? Oh, nearly 1 a.m. Um, just casual. I'm gonna buy, this is no joke, like as many cats as I can get because I think that cats are the most beautiful creatures as well as dogs. But dogs need a lot of work, a lot of attention and that's why they're harder to keep cats. There is no reason why anybody, you know, really can't have a cat unless you have allergies and unless you don't have a space for one or you know garden or anything like that but even so some cats can live in apartments and, and stuff like that but yeah anyway i'm gonna own several cats and i'm going to have them adopted as in like i'm not going to have other people adopt my cats i'm going to be adopting other people's any cat i don't care any cat that doesn't have a home they can come to me seriously and i, I mean that i know that there won't be any cats watching this but <laughs> at the same time I'm kind of half hoping there is because I'd love that seriously I'd love to adopt a cat but on that note 
that is the end of the speed build. I'm sorry if this is the worst commentary I've ever done for a Create a Sim speed edit, but I've actually really enjoyed it. And I've been more myself recently because of live streaming and I guess just being more real with everyone. But thanks for watching. I hope to see you for the next one and I'll speak to you all soon.